controversial opinion, because I'm a regular old fire starter, Muerta East is, at this point, my least favorite map. I really struggled building something cool on this map. I'll explain why in a minute. If you're also having trouble with Muerta East, or if it's actually one of your favorite islands and you just can't get enough of it, stick around for five hard-fought tips on how to build a five-star park on Muerta East in Jurassic World Evolution's new sandbox mode. Coming right up. Thanks for returning to my 5 tips video series. I'm working my way through all of the sandbox maps. Check the playlist at the end of the video and subscribe and ring the bell if you don't want to miss out on any tips and more Jurassic World Evolution content. Muerta East has been a much requested island, so that's why I spent the better part of my weekend building on this map. I didn't think I'd have a hard time with it, I had a general concept in mind for it all week, but once I loaded into the map, I blanked. I completely blanked. And for the first time ever, I decided to start over after about 40 minutes of building because it just wasn't going anywhere. My problem with Isla Muerta East is that it's kinda... Meh. It's not as small as I remembered, but as a true-to-form medium island, it's not big either. It has a pretty straightforward shape, nothing too challenging, but also nothing inspirational and not wide open and square enough to just do whatever you want, like Sanctuary and Nublar. So your girl struggled! And I'm gonna give you a bonus tip right at the start. Stick with your first instincts. Like I said, I had an idea about how to approach Muerta East all throughout the week, but when Saturday came around and I loaded into the empty sandbox map, I deviated from that initial vision, using that word very loosely, and it backfired pretty quickly. The park we're looking at right now is the result of me restarting from scratch and going back to that first idea, and I think it ended up decent looking. And it gave me enough ideas for tips to make this video. Let's quickly go through those five tips so you can start building on Muerta East for yourself. Tip number one. As a starting point, go ahead and flatten the entire map to one level. It's not often that you're gonna hear me say that because I typically think some changes in the elevation make a park look more interesting, but this map just begs to be flat. It's practically flat already. But when you go and flatten the island, start from the edges by the beach, not from the entry point. The entry point is slightly higher than the beach, so if you level from there, you end up with a slope at the edge of the map. Whereas I think you should make the transition to the actual beach, where we can build, look as natural as possible. Tip number two. Make Muerta East a true sandbox and chuck it full of sand. Muerta East is the perfect island to do that with, because it has such a wide beach between the buildable area and the ocean. Might as well make that beach look even more thick. And it makes sense that from a beach this wide, enough sand would get blown inland to fill your buildable area. Since update 1.10 fixed those awful patches of dirt around everything, having an island full of sand actually looks good nowadays. Especially with the worst offender, the tour truck track, having been fixed. Tour truck track. Tour truck track. Tour truck track. Jesus. If you think the tour trucks are way better than the gyrospheres, like I do, comment Team Tour Truck. Tip number three. Focus your buildings around the foot of the mountain and then fan out from there. That was my initial idea going into this map, and I think it looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. Especially with how the terrain has been painted. Building this way accents the one thing I could pinpoint that actually does give Muerta East some character, and that is the shape with which it curves around the foot of the mountain. None of the other islands offer that, and I always like finding unique things about an island and working with that as the basis for the design. Tip number four. I told you we were going to go through these quickly. Number four, medium island, big exhibits. Personally, I am a fan of the unethically small enclosures. As you might have heard me say in one of my other tip videos, it's easier to add design flair to guest areas than to add design to enclosures. Because enclosures, at the end of the day, they kind of end up looking the same. But these are tips, not rules, and for this map, I decided not to follow one of my own tips and went with big exhibits instead. The reason for that is because I knew that with the sandy look going on, I didn't want to add a lot of foliage. And without being able to hide fences with the trees, they stick out like a sore thumb. So I ran the fencing along the paths and left the exhibits as wide open spaces. That way the map wouldn't be cluttered with steel wiring. Tip number five. 
Because I had trouble finding something unique about the island to inspire me, I challenged myself to just do something different. So if you're struggling with a design for Muerta East as well, I give you the same challenge. Do something different from what you would normally do. For me, that meant a number of things. For starters, no big public square with overly complicated path design. Rest in peace. Also, no fancy path. Fancy path is generally my go-to because I like how it reflects light. And no carnivores. Most of my favorite dinosaurs in the game are carnivores, and I'm sure the same goes for most players of Jurassic World Evolution. My top 10 of dinosaurs is pretty carnivore heavy, even after the excellent herbivore pack. So this park is a herbivore only park. By steering clear of some of my go-tos, I think the end result is pretty fresh, given the blatant design constraints of the game, of course. In next week's 5 tips video, we're gonna go to Takanyo Research Facility. Have you been to that island in the new sandbox mode yet? Comment yep or nope below and don't forget, hashtag Team Tortruck for life. Subscribe and ring the bell if you don't want to miss out on tomorrow's Tour Tuesday and future videos. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, enjoy the game! Yeah.